Today we're talking all about this brand new bag from the Aloha collection. This bag is called the Crossbody. There are several other colors, prints, and patterns available in this style of bag, which you'll see later in this video. I found the Aloha collection about a year ago, and I've had a little bit of a love affair with them since because their products are just that good. I really enjoy the fact that I can take them anywhere, do anything with them, and I don't have to worry about them. I can crunch them up in the bottom of another bag. I can fold them nicely, but as a mom of three who's busy going here and there for sports and a variety of other things, that just doesn't always happen. So even if they get crumpled up in the bottom of another bag, I know that they're going to be fine. I also really appreciate that they're splash proof because I never know what kind of situation I'm going to get into. I might end up kayaking and getting a little bit wet and being really appreciative of my splash proof Aloha collection bags along the way because they keep all of my dry items that I want to stay dry dry, or we may just encounter some spills because again, mom of three. The Aloha collection bags just take a little bit of the guesswork out for me and I just don't always have time to be super prepared and super planned and I love a bag that I can just take with me on the go and it doesn't matter where I'm gonna end up or what I'm going to end up doing or if it ends up raining and I didn't know that that was part of the weather forecast. I just like knowing that I'm good, that I'm covered. The bag that I have with me can handle it all and go with me through whatever situation I end up in. And this adorable little crossbody bag also serves another purpose that I really appreciate. I can carry it with the handles if I would rather not have the crossbody strap attached or I can carry it with the crossbody strap. I enjoy that I can be hands-free if I'm on the go with my kids or if I wanted to have it on a date night even and just carry it with these little handles, I could also do that. Again, satisfying multiple purposes in one little bag. I appreciate the squishable texture of this bag. I currently do have it packed with all of the items that I would want in it, which you'll see in a few minutes. These tags will be going because this bag is absolutely staying with me, but I just wanted to leave them on for this video and then I will be ripping them off. I'll probably cut them off. I don't want to damage the strap of the bag, but I really just love the size of this bag. You can see here that it is not super huge, not super small, just a great size to fit your everyday needs in and be ready for you to grab and go out the door. So let's take a look at all of the different pockets and features of this bag. I really feel like it's going to be a workhorse. I'm loving the details in it and I'm ready to share them with you. First up, when you open your package, you're going to receive this very sweet little card, Welcome to the Ohana. The Aloha Collection was born out of friendships, frequent travels, and necessity. Made of a special technical material, Aloha Collection is simple, functional, and feels good. Created by surfer slash flight attendant Rachel and native Heather, the Aloha Collection splash-proof pouches keep your dry stuff dry and your wet stuff separate. Pack your bags and travel light with us. Mahalo. XO. Team Aloha. And here is the beautiful crossbody in the monochrome color. I selected this colorway for my first crossbody bag from Aloha Collection because I really just wanted it to match with everything and I didn't want to have to put too much thought into the coloring of my bag versus the coloring of my clothing and whether they went together or not. So I just decided to grab a neutral for my first bag. Right on the front we have this rubber name tag. It says Aloha Collection. Travel light with us. Trans Pacific Roots Daily. Aloha Aloha. Mahalo. You're going to notice that the material looks a little bit wrinkly. This is completely normal and is how all Aloha bags are. It's because of that material that they are made from that keeps your dry stuff dry and your wet stuff separate. And I honestly am not at all bothered by that when I am carrying this bag. It doesn't make me feel like the bag looks like it's a poor quality or anything like that. I love the floppy texture of this material. I love that it is extremely packable. I could fold this up into a really small little bundle and be able to pack it and bring it with me if it wasn't the bag I was carrying in the initial leg of a trip. So let's dive into the pockets offered on this bag. So right on the front, we have this zippered pocket. We have this rubber zipper pull here. It says Aloha along the pull, which I enjoy because it makes it a little bit easier to grab. And if you have wet hands as you're trying to grab this, that's going to make it that much easier to hold on to and open. Granted, you might not want to be opening your bag with wet hands, but if for whatever reason that is something you need to be doing, this little grip is going to help you do that with ease. Here is that first pocket 
for reference, here is my hand down in the pocket. It is a good size pocket going from this seam all the way over to this seam. So about here down is the size of this pocket. A very roomy pocket and a great size. For reference, I have my iPhone here and this slips in with ease and still has a little bit of room to spare. My phone ends here and the pouch ends right there. Here's the size of my iPhone next to my hand for reference and you can see it along the outside of the bag. Another view of the extra room between the seams. Next up, let's take a look at the main compartment of the bag. You have these two nylon handles here. So if you didn't want the crossbody strap, which I'm going to disconnect for now, then you could easily take it off and set that off to the side and not use it and just be able to carry this with these little nylon handles. You do have those D-rings on both ends of the bag where you can hook that crossbody or if you were not using it crossbody style you could hook a keychain or something and there's even room that if you wanted to hook a keychain while the crossbody feature is being used you could still do that. So once you open up these little nylon handles you'll see that this is a zippered pocket here I am a little bit picky about my zippers and I will be upfront and say that this zipper is not my favorite style. However, there is nothing wrong with it. That is just me being a little picky with my zippers. So I like zippers that go right from corner to corner and don't leave any opening like this. I'm not really sure why that is such a preference of mine. I've never had anything fall out but it is just my preference. So to be completely transparent on my channel, I will mention that. But this zipper is a nice lengthy one. The little tail here can get tucked inside of the bag so that it is not sticking out. And then when you open that zipper, you have a very roomy pocket in here. Along the back side of the bag, we're going to find the Aloha Collection logo again. Let's just turn this completely inside out so we can see that logo really nicely. Look at how easy that was to turn that completely inside out. One of the things that I love about this bag, you can't do that with all bags. Some are too structured for that and some just don't allow for that kind of transformation. And I just really love that this bag is completely transformable, completely squishable, completely packable. But here again, we have that Aloha Collection logo, 100% splash proof, hand wash, hang dry, stow damp items, keep dry things dry, travel light with us, hello, goodbye wet, dry, and a very cute little anchor. Also on the inside, right above this logo tag, you can see we have a zippered pocket. This is another good size pocket. It is not as big as the zippered pocket on the front of the bag, but for reference, it does go a good distance. It does go seam to seam. It's hard to see that with the bag turned inside out, but I can feel that it's going right from the seam here to the seam over here, and a little over half of my hand fits comfortably. So if we turn this pocket inside out, that might give you a little bit better of an idea of just how big this pocket is. So for size reference, there is the size of this pocket. Here is my iPhone against the size of that pocket. I'm not sure with the zipper if it would actually fit in, but let's find out. Oh my, it does. And again with ease. Look at that. So easy to store an iPhone in that back pocket or whatever else you might like to have in there. On the other side of the inside of the bag, you just have a solid surface. Here's what the bottom of the bag looks like on the inside. Let's go ahead and flip the bag back right side out. We're back to the front of the bag where we have that rubber logo and that front pocket. We took a look at the inside of the bag, flipping it around to the back, just like the back of the inside, you just have a nice solid surface. This bag can clearly open up to carry a good amount. If you look at the side here, it is nice and deep, so it's going to store a good amount of things without being a super large bag. Now let's take a look at the crossbody strap. There's some very beautiful metal clips and buckles on this crossbody strap. They are a beautiful flat black color and they hook right to those D-rings quite easily.
so that you can carry this bag crossbody if desired. My preference is to carry the majority of my bags crossbody. I have young children, so that just makes the most sense for me the majority of the time, but I really love a bag that I can just pop the crossbody strap off of and then be able to carry it with some little handles in case I also want to use it on a date night. My favorite thing about a bag is versatility, and I really feel like this Aloha Collection crossbody bag has exactly that. It can be used for so many different things and in so many different environments because of this really amazing splash proof material. Here's the official name of this item. This is what the tag looks like that you receive on it. I love this detail. 5% of profits go to Hawaii conservation organizations. Hawaii has a soft spot in my heart. I went there when I was 16 with my grandmother. I long to go back desperately one day and I love that when I purchase an Aloha collection item I know that 5% of profits are going to those conservation organizations. The retail price of this item is $64. Here are a couple of additional places where you can find the Aloha collection. Now we're at the part of the video where I'm going to unpack the bag that I'm currently using. I have my Lululemon crossbody bag, and it is a pretty low maintenance bag for me. It's kind of rough and tumble. I take it wherever, do whatever with it. I carry this crossbody and I'm looking forward to switching into another bag that I'm also not worried about taking everywhere and doing everything with. I'm gonna switch my wallet over. I have a lot of room in this bag compared to the previous crossbody that I'm moving out of. So I do think I'm going to bring some pouches into the situation. I can just toss my wallet right down in there. It's hard to see when you have a black bag and a black wallet, but there's a little look for you. Realistically, it's probably just gonna end up tossed in like that. So I should toss it in like that right now. And then in this bag, I had to move away from my pouches because I just didn't have room. So I have all of my like quick grab items just loose in here, not really loose, but kind of tucked in. That's not my favorite style, I will be honest. I do like to be a little bit of a pouch packer and this bag allows me to do just that. I don't have to worry about having splash proof pouches because the exterior of the bag is splash proof. So whatever I'm putting inside should be staying dry. I have my MZ Wallace wallet here. I use this all the time. It is just a regular for me. It's a staple. I move it from bag to bag to bag. You will also find a lot of MZ Wallace product reviews on my channel because they are another bag brand that I really enjoy. I'm going to go grab a couple of pouches so that I can pack into the pouches and then put the pouches into this bag. For now, I just went ahead and grabbed this hot pink MZ Wallace pouch. I love this pouch. It has just a little tiny pocket here and then is just nice and big and spacious and allows me to put all of my little toiletry-like items in it. Not really toiletries, but the chapsticks, band-aids. Again, I'm a mom, things like that. I couldn't really use it in this bag because as you can tell, it takes up basically all of this bag. So I appreciate that I should have plenty of room to store that one down in there. And you can see that one really nicely since it is so much brighter than the black. So let's go ahead and get this packed up. Okay, we have this nice and packed up. I did decide to take the pen out because I'm going to put that in the interior zip pocket of the crossbody. I also decided to leave one of my chapsticks out. Love this one because I am constantly grabbing for chapstick. It doesn't matter if it's summer, winter. I just want easy access to my chapstick. And I thought that this front pocket would be perfect for that. This is probably where I'm gonna end up dropping my phone re pretty regularly, but I think that my chapstick will fit in there just fine with my phone and I can take my phone in and out without risking losing my chapstick because you don't wanna lose Burt's Bees chapstick. That would be very sad. But I think those two things can coexist nicely in that front pocket. And then here in this pocket, I'm gonna tuck my hot pink pouch in there. I love the way that that fits. My wallet is in the front, my pouch is in the back. Easy to grab the wallet, take it in and out as I am shopping. And then here in that back pocket, I'm gonna put the pen, like I mentioned, it is a perfect fit. And I feel good to go. I definitely have plenty of additional room in here. If I wanted to continue to add items, I don't. This feels good to me. This feels like I have everything I need. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and zip this closed now and see how that feels. There we have it zipped closed and packed up. Again, I love the floppy feel of this bag. That's not for everybody, so you need to know that going into it. If you're not into a floppy bag and you really need and want structure, you've got two options. One, don't purchase this bag. That would be a sad option. I think that you should go with option two so that you could still purchase this bag, or option two, which is buy an insert for it that gives it a little more structure and allows you to pack your items into the insert. They have all kinds of little inserts on Amazon. I don't particularly feel the need to have those, but I know a lot of people use them and really like them. So that is an idea for you if you're looking for a little more structure, but still love the idea of this easily squishable, packable, splash-proof bag. Taking a quick look at their website, here is this beautiful crossbody in the monochrome color. I wanted to show you the other colors that it is available in. This color is not available at the moment, but you've got this striping down the middle. The majority of the bag is white, or you can have the majority of the bag be black with the stripes white and that tan color. There's this olive green bag. That might have been my second choice had I not picked the black. There is this tan kind of taupey color. That is a very fun pattern. There you have that pattern again, but with black and white. We've got a striping effect there. That one gives such coastal vibes. If this one was in stock, I would likely go back and grab it because I do really love florals on my bags. As I mentioned, I wanted to start off with just a solid color, something that was super easy to match with all of my outfits, wherever I was going, whatever I was doing, but this was a close second. And then that green color that I showed you would have been my third choice, I guess. I misspoke when I said second choice, but that is a very beautiful color as well. So there are some different patterns, colors available. If you are not wanting black, the little slogan that goes along with this bag, take your look from beach to street with a new classic. Elevate your style with sleek monochrome silhouettes in timeless hues. Thank you for joining me today as we took a tour of the brand new Aloha Collection crossbody bag. Be sure to check out the Aloha Collection for yourself. I am confident that you will not be disappointed. The price point might feel a little bit high, but for a bag that is going to last for years to come, I really do feel like it's worth it. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!